Everybody pray for me. It's been a day for me. Yeah, yeah. Boys, we're jumping right back into the Zuma 70cc build. If you haven't yet, go watch the last video so you can understand where we're at. Put a Melosi crank in it, split the cases, new crank bays, new crank seals, clean the Corsa kit, and uh, clean the motor up a bunch. Putting on the stator right now to put on the flywheel. Pretty much get everything on there, um, gasket the intake on, and get this mounted up in the bike. And still need to pull the tank on this, change the pack cock. We got a lot to do in this video, actually. Um, a lot on this build, so we're going to get this thing... Um, ready. I'm still I'm building the front end right now. I just got a disc front wheel for this thing I still need a stem and legs if anybody has a stem and legs and also like a caliper and everything for a pre-bug Also, I got to pick up the kicker case from my homie who did a plasma cutout The clutch belt actually rubs on the inside of my kicker case on my pre-bug So I had to cut it out and I was like whatever I'm just gonna get it plasma cut the whole um, clutch belt Not sure how it's gonna look not sure if I'm gonna like it yet. We'll see I'm gonna pick that up but then I want to get that resprayed white as well because I want this thing looking good with the white and blue. Got the exhaust studs in there, Loctite. Now I'm about to go ahead and throw my Stage Six Manny on there. So. Perfect. All right, boys, had the homie Robert uh, plasma cut this out for me, and I just sanded it down and filed it a little bit on the edges, smoothed it all out. So that's going to be looking like that. Now we got some air going in right there to the clutch. I might drill a hole up here, depending on where all this mounts up and let some air be able to go through and then out the back of the cage. Alright, we got a fresh petcock to put in the gas tank of the Zuma too because we're trying to have everything fresh and new for this build, so. The freshy sun. That Bezos, man, with that fast delivery. Ordered this bad boy yesterday. We got ourselves a battery for the Blue Zuma and a clutch socket, clutch nut socket. So, for everybody who wants this uh, socket, the socket size is a uh, 38 mil. Now I can throw the new Melosi spring I have in there, Melosi clutch, put new springs in the clutch, and we can go forward with the Zuma build. All right, boys, we got a new throttle cable here to throw in, and then uh, grabbing a new plug, too. We're going to throw that in there, too. Cut this piece off, because we're going to be running a temp gauge. I can also mount my gauges. The only thing is, eventually, I want to get a vapor gauge or something, because once I do a naked bar setup and remove this, and do my whole disc front end and everything like that, um, I'm going to need a spot to put my gauge, so I'm going to get a vapor gauge then. But for now, if I'm running this, I'm probably going to go ahead and stick my gauges right here like I normally would. Um, just for now with this setup, I'm going to go ahead and take all these panels off and take what I got to for getting um, the throttle cable lined back here. And also I have a new brake cable too, a Hayaku um, Zuma brake cable. Alright, I got this back panel pulled off. I'm going to actually plastic weld this while it's off too because it's all cracked up over there. But now I got this off so I'm going to go ahead and pull the throttle cable through. Um, it looks like it's going to be kind of a pain to put it through here. I wish I could take this off without having to take the bars off, but it doesn't split like the Elite one does. So we'll see what we can do. Maybe we can go without taking that off. But uh, battery's in there too. We got the new battery in there. And uh, yeah, we're getting there, boys. And showtime pay per view. Judging at rings. Yeah, yeah. We got a temp gauge and a tack to put on. Also, right here, we got a Pliny CP 21 millimeter carb and the little 90 fitting that we're going to need right now for the throttle cable at the tip and uh, all the internals out of the carb to put the throttle cable together. And then we'll go ahead and mount these bad boys. These are stupid easy to wire in if you haven't done it yet. This one literally just goes around your spark plug and you got to cut out the, um, the crush washer that's on your spark plug. 
so that way you have no washer on it like so and then you just put it through that ring right there and then now you have a temp gauge and then this one literally is just a red wire that you just wrap around your spark plug coil wire just wrap it around a bunch and tie it off where it's tight on there and that's literally it someone commented asking how to wire those in the other day but I'm about to lock these up and then run it through the bike so and scooter swap shop also plugs it with the extended piece included when you buy it from them. So I was gonna mount them up here, but I didn't like the way that looked up there. I thought about it, and I kind of want them right here, I think. So I think since this one's already cracked on this side, I'm gonna drill a hole right there, run this wire right through that hole right there. And then this one, the wire will go this way and pinch between here and it kind of look clean and tucked. Um, that's the plan. I'm going to go ahead and run this. I don't really want to sit here and film this because I'm going to have to edit this clip later. But dropping the wires down here, running it under the floorboard and then to the, to the spark plug wire and then to the uh, spark plug. So that's that. I'll have it done and right now. She's mounted on there. That's how we're looking. I got all the wires ran. And nicely zip tied in there. It's all hidden by plastic, but got this on now. I plastic welded this up the other day, as you saw on the little broken tabs. There's a few other tabs um, that I plastic welded inside of here on this crack as well. Um, but about to throw this on, and then I can throw my gas tank back in and throw on the new Polini CP21 carb too, as well. I'm stoked because I'm planning on tonight being the night to get the first time to start this bike. Everything else is on. I don't want to throw the cooling shafts on right now because I want to be able to check for air leaks when I do start it for the first time. Um, so uh, yeah, we're getting straight into it. We got CP21 millimeter carb right here. Pretty basic setup for um, what you run on like a higher end like this. Um, but I run big carbs on my uh, Hondas like your boy Chuck put me on over here. I got the the chuck builds going on over here with the big carb setup. I got like a 34 in the stroker and a 28 millimeter in here, but uh, we're gonna run with uh, 21 millimeter in um, the vertical Minarelli right here. I'm not even sure what jet's come in this uh, stock, so I'm gonna crack it open and see, but I'm thinking I'm gonna run something in like the, maybe like a 110, maybe like a 108, what I have for a 21 like this, and then um, maybe like a 38 or a 40, um, 42, no, probably not 42, probably like a 40, maybe a 38 pilot. Looks like it has a um, 100 in it. 40 pilot. That actually I think is going to work for us. I might keep the 40 pilot in there. Alright, we're going to run a 110. Like I said, throw a 110 in there. So excited to throw the exhaust on, dude. I cannot wait to see what this Yasuni pipe looks like on this bike. Um, gonna throw the carb on. Uh, I already hooked up the throttle cable situation with a 90 on there. I just gotta take the guts out of here, put that all on the cable. You guys know how to do that. Throw this in my stage six intake right there, and then I also have a plenty pod filter I'm gonna throw on here too. So let's get to it, boys. Hooked up in there. We got the carb mounted in there. We got new fuel line. We got that new petcock in there. Uh, new throttle cable piece. Just everything's kind of just like on there right now. I gotta tighten everything up. I don't like how this throttle is. This throttle was sticking back when this bike was stock. I'm about to open it back up and look inside of here, but like, not good. Right now, let's go ahead and pull out all the new CVT setup stuff and uh, put all that fun stuff on. All right, you see we got the brand new Melosi clutch right here. Clutch valve, clutch valve combo. We got some new springs for it right here. Um, I don't even know what springs are in it, but we're gonna go ahead and throw those green springs in it right there. And then I got the stock rear pulley right here, um, which looks like it's in pretty good condition still. I'll know once to take it all apart and mess with it by hand. Gonna pull that clutch off. Um, put this spring in there, put this clutch on there, and swap these springs out. Um, obviously how you do this, I haven't even looked at this clutch yet. So everybody's always comments on the videos because they see the cul-de-sac, they know we're in the hood, and they say my house looks like I live on Grove Street, and we like stand out front, it's dead ass like in GTA, but there's perks to living in the hood, and I promise you, right here, bro, just pull up to my doorstep. Nah, you ain't getting that in Summerlin. You ain't getting that up there. You're getting that in the hood, baby. I had to pull it all out to get the TikTok 
Make sure you follow Mop Boys on TikTok. But uh, yeah, we got everything. I pulled the Yusuni R pipe out right there. She's looking pretty. RAD restricted. I know someone's gonna comment saying something about, oh, it doesn't need to be D restricted. Blah, 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 blah. Just because I don't show everything in the video doesn't mean it doesn't happen. I hate when people think that. They, you don't show a step of you putting something together and they're like, oh my god, you didn't even tighten your back wheel. This clutch has like this safety plate on it, which I'm gonna have to remove to remove the springs. If y'all aren't already subscribed, you gotta go subscribe to uh, Scooter Swap Shop's YouTube channel. Once they hit 40k, they're literally giving away a pre-bug Zuma. So, um, go subscribe. I don't see why you wouldn't. You could have a chance to win a pre-bug Zuma without paying a dollar. So, all you gotta do is hit the subscribe button. I don't understand the tensioners on these. So I guess you literally have to, from what I get, it's not like the Polini one where you can tighten it and loosen it. You literally have to like undo the spring and then like push it over a hump. It's kind of interesting. Clutch springs are in there, boys. Open up this pretty little thing. I love the packaging on this. Oh yeah, she feels really happy. Lubrication in there, and then we'll throw it all together. There she is, clutches together. All right, we're looking at the Melosi one versus the stock one, and they look about the same, or oh, maybe a tiny bit more on stock almost aggressive compared to the Melosi one. Um, but we'll see how that is. I also just remembered I had six gram weights in it on the, the stock variator set, so I'm actually gonna run the six gram ones. And then we'll throw those together. That spring's gotta be like a 1K. Oh yeah, and we got the little air filter piece right here. Cleaning as well. Just like that. Alright boys, time to throw the Yusuni pipe on right now. So we're gonna get to it. There she is, in all her glory. And uh, yeah boys, that's simple. I got a brand new gasket for it. And uh, let's get it together. That's good. Wait, hold on. Let me get some more ass. I need more views. Ass? Yeah, a little bit more ass. Huh? Perfect. All right, yeah, that should get some views. <laughs> Thanks. Let's see if she wants to fire up. All right, boys. on these CP carves are trash. I hate grabbing that. I need the little idle adjuster.
kind of, it's kind of sketchy right now to prop it because this throttle, like I showed you guys, is a little sticky. So I'm trying to be careful right now without being on the bike sitting down. Check how you want, but I'm gonna say that's pretty safe for now. Oh, it has a leak for sure until I'm riding it a little bit more and see the temps. First pre bug vertical Minarelli full build right there. I'm stoked. I think it's fired right up. This thing sounds good. There's no leaks. I'm stoked that I'm about to put the cooling shrouds on, and uh, it's a little late right now. I didn't even want to start it tomorrow, pull it out, and get the first ever ride on it, dude. I'm stoked. It sounds so good. This pipe sounds so good. I'll show you guys. Look at that. You guys like it make sure you guys leave a thumbs up on this video subscribe let me know down in the comments your guys thoughts on the zuma i'm stoked to ride this thing that's gonna do it for this one boys i'll see you guys in the next one